Remember that one? Good focus. Freaking metal termites all over that. Time to take the old pinto axle out. The old seven, seven something, I don't know anymore. <laughs> fancy, fancy blockage there. I think the first step is going to be to pull the bump. Get my old bones under here. I think we're going to pull the bumper from them bolts there because we have, oh, I got the wrong light here. There we go. So I think I'm going to pull the bumper by these bolts here on each side because then if you see the four bolts that hold this plate. On. It also holds the shackle for the spring. Um, and there's also, also, let's see, this one right here. There's two like that. I think that's probably holding the bumper mount. So I think we're going to pull all of that down. So let's get at it. Socket is doing the thing. Well, you get the six point on there. in Wisconsin. The state is awful. Alright, I gotta find an extension.
spinning. Back above that sheet metal, there's that nut. It has like a cage. It's like a cage nut, kind of like well, I've seen them on on uh, computer system racks. Whatever. Anyway, nut up in there, and it's spinning. Um, I'm going to find a way to get it out. All right, so I got it out. I was able to put a three quarter inch box end wrench on there. Surprisingly, a fit. But look at look at these bolts. Like, kind of looks like blue Loctite on there, don't it? That one's not so bad. Maybe that one. Get focus. Metal termites all over that. And that's holding the leaf spring on. I was afraid if that spring was going to pop when I got the last one out, but it just kind of shifted forward a little bit. Give me a look down here. No, and actually only two of them were holding the spring on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's see what we can do on the other side. It seems to me that I put a jam nut on the side.